the Fed more than 90% likely to raise rates another 75 basis points in November. There is undoubtedly tinkling and toiling around the water cooler that this is in fact the last 75 basis point hike and lower hikes are to come and potentially a pause completely much sooner than expected. And with the idea that a pivot from the Fed is closer than ever, it is also a race against the clock as the Fed cannot continue to raise rates much longer without absolutely dumping on the chests of the Moon Boys worldwide. And what if I told you that there's something showing up in these charts that will give you goosebumps and belly aches like you've never seen? Bitcoin right now has had its least volatile nearly five month trading period since I was born back in 2015. And if history is any lesson, I promise you that the biggest move in my entire seven year old life is right around the corner. With the SPX today, again, getting a little bit of a bounce above the 200 week moving average. Um, again, as you can see here, we spent the beginning of the week kind of getting above it. And now the rest of the week pretty much retesting it. And now our first little move, there is renewed hope that, uh, that this market actually might be closer to having some sort of bullish breakout. Now, let's be honest, we're not even close so far. However, the reason people are speculating is because uh, they see the momentum uh, again, pretty much trying to predict the very beginning of this momentum swing, because when actually this market starts to break out, in many ways, it will be too late to securely place your your strongest, most winning trades and um, really take full advantage of this because the market has been so flat, so boring for five months. So what people are trying to do right now is absolutely capitalize on uh, in their best way possible, the entirety of this move uh, of this next breakout. Will it be to the upside or the downside? Uh, it's a huge question, but the real backdrop that we've seen this entire year so far is that the Fed has been raising rates that has been pulling the stock market down. It's been pulling Bitcoin down. It has been strengthening the dollar. However, what we've seen and what we continue to see, for example, this uh, USD being unloaded by Japan, the finance Ministry of Finance in Japan, is that not only uh, are these rate hikes affecting people in the U.S., it's affecting people outside of the U.S. much more, and it's affecting affecting currencies much more than people uh, using the U.S. dollar negatively. And so, basically, what's happening here is that as the Fed continues to continues to raise these rates, it is not something you can do forever. It is not something sustainable. And everyone's been talking about a pivot, right? For for I mean, for so long. But eventually that has to happen. There has to be a pivot. And does a pivot mean that they're going to start decreasing rates? Not necessarily. It could just mean pausing or slowing down of rates. And take advantage of over $16,000 in deposit bonuses below. Specifically, if you sign up with BitGet right now, you can get 15 free USDT simply by putting in your email and creating a password. It's that simple. 15 free dollars. In addition, $16,000 of deposit bonuses with BitGet, Femex, and Bybit below. The 75 basis point hike pretty much guaranteed for November. Uh, I believe they're pricing it above like 95% or so where we're going to be getting a 75 basis point hike in November. Uh, is that going to be the last 75 basis point hike? And are we going to start going to 50 or even lower? Because they have also indicated that in the year 2023, we should see these rates uh, stop being raised uh, and especially, you know, stop around like 5%. But the thing is, if that does happen, if we start to see a pivot from the Fed, um, a lot of this bullish momentum and a breakout for Bitcoin in the stock market will have happened before that news becomes reality. Basically, what I'm saying is, let's say a couple months down the road, let's say one month, let's say a couple months, whatever it is, they do pivot, the Fed pivots. Um, that is not the time to place your trade as the Fed comes out and says, okay, uh, we're going to we're gonna stop raising rates so aggressively, or we're going to stop completely, or you know, even further in the future, we're going to uh, start uh, lowering rates um, that uh, the pump will already have come before that in Bitcoin in the stock market and the dump will have already happened in the DXY before that most likely okay so that the reason people are starting to anticipate all of this momentum so early is because that is when the biggest opportunity to trade to invest to make uh, to make gains is before that happens. These markets, as I said, you know, there are they're forward looking. So uh, they're pricing in. I mean, again, you can't say 100%. But in my opinion, and in most people's opinion, the price of Bitcoin right now is already pricing in a 75 basis point hike for the month of November next month. So uh, if we would get a 50 basis point hike, 
absolutely this market would pump to the upside. But again, that's very unlikely. It's just an example that this market is already pricing in the future. And the thing is, Bitcoin will start to pump aggressively if there is any surefire indication that the Fed begins pivoting. And every month that goes by, I know people say there's 0% chance the Fed could pivot and they have to tame inflation. CPI reports coming in at like 8% uh, and they're only at 4% right now with the rates. That's true, but it is affecting negatively so many things. It is negatively affecting so many things by raising these rates. It is making, you're just squishing and squashing people's ability uh, to purchase. And it's absolutely just, it's causing havoc globally as well. Okay, for example, like what is happening in Japan. So uh, there is a limited time window here. The Fed cannot just keep raising rates to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten percent for the next year, two years. It simply can't happen. So a pivot will happen eventually. It will not happen next month, in my opinion. However, will it be December? Will it be January? The thing is, if it is in December or January, it is very likely that Bitcoin will pump before that because it will price those possibilities in as more and more evidence and more and more data is showing that that's likely uh, way before that. So pretty much, um, could this be the bottom? Absolutely, it could be. Because if the market does if the market does begin to rise because the Fed pivots here, then again, it, you are not going to place your trade the second that the Fed confirms it. There will be um, pumping, absolute pumping before that in anticipation because there would have been, there will have been, and there already are showing to be signs that that possibly is happening here. Now, if we actually look at the charts, so one of the big things happening with Bitcoin on the weekly as well is that this is the very first cross on the weekly chart MACD and the 10 day as well, and green um, momentum swing here on the MACD since back in October of 2021 when Bitcoin hit 69K. So there is some hope there. Okay, we this is the very first cross. There is, again, I personally think that if we would fast forward a few months, this is just my opinion and this is not financial advice, but I believe that what will happen, okay, that I'm not saying that we couldn't wick down even lower than we currently are. Some crazy stuff might happen in a very short amount of time. But what I'm saying is if we fast forward a few months to December, even January, I personally believe that we are going to see this market much higher than it currently is now. Even with that being said, I don't. that doesn't mean that a recession is going to be over. That doesn't mean the bear market is going to be over. That's not what I'm saying. But I do expect a very strong bounce, especially if they even lower these, start lowering the increase uh, basis point hikes, or they just pause them. Okay, that's really what a pivot is. If they even pause, they don't have to start lowering rates. If they just say, hey, we're not going to be as aggressive with these rates because of what's happening, uh, because of the effects of that, then that absolutely will move these markets massively. And guys, as we all know, this market is spring loaded right now. It has gotten dumped on for an entire year plus, but the rate specifically have, has really brought this market to its knees, Bitcoin and the stock market. And there is going to be a relief rally at some point, whether it's, you know, entering into a new bull market ultimately for crypto or just a very strong relief rally. Both of them, in my opinion, are much more likely than any prolonged sustained downside. If we were going to get sustained downside, I personally think it would be over these last five months that we have traded sideways. There's been so much pressure put on these markets and really how much lower can it go sustainably? Like how much lower can it go and stay there for a long amount of time? I personally think the reason that we're seeing Bitcoin at this level and just trading sideways for so long is because this is ultimately the bottom, even if we go a couple thousand dollars lower for a week or a very short amount of time and have a quick wick and have a quick wick and then just come right back up. Either way, in my opinion, and what the charts are showing and, and demand, simple supply and demand is showing is that this is kind of the fair value of Bitcoin and where it wants to stay. To push Bitcoin down to 10K and keep it there for any amount of time, I personally think there would have to be the biggest catastrophe uh, on the planet for something like that to happen. So technically it's possible. However, it's just not as likely as what you know, uh, something like Occam's razor or uh, in my opinion, common sense would tell us is that where we've been trading uh, with, with little volume, with no interest and just complete sideways is ultimately where the demand is and where the ultimate bottom is. This is absolute time sensitive alerts. Take advantage of over $16,000 in trading bonuses. If you're interested in trying to take advantage of these moves, personally, I believe that the biggest move of the next year is could be within a week, uh, most likely a little bit longer than that, but is only weeks away. 
Uh, but simply if you sign up with Big Ed below, receive 15 free USDT by putting in an email and a password, and that's it. And you can receive that in addition to $16,000 in trading bonuses as well. Without any further ado, that's for me.